What's guys, Tony Bernardo, back to Karate Ronin Dojo. Um, listen, you've got to train for power. There's no point in you having techniques ha, 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 if there's no power in there, because it's not going to do any damage <coughs> to your opponent. So the, the good thing of Kyokushin and our emphasis is power, generating power. There's, there's no point throwing tens of thousands and thousands of punches if it's not going to have any effect when you actually hit someone. So, again, that's what we use shields a lot. Focus mitts are good, but they are for focus, not for power. So, get the shield, get your partner, so it's a nice, solid object. So, if I don't hit him properly, you get that. Now, I'm not hitting hard. All I'm doing is touching the bag. This is where the shot needs to be. That's what is doing some damage. And, and I'm not, again, boo, coming in for big shots. I'm just, that's kind of a base power. When I want to do some damage, okay? So we'll just have a couple of look, and look at a few little hits, a few little shots, a few little combos, just to help start develop your power a bit. Nice, simple bread and butter. The old oiski, gyakuski, shunaski, shunaski. There, these two shots. So it would be, so we're coming nice and solid in that, but hit that mid-range chest there, bang, bang, and then there, whack, whack. Obviously outside we're not going to be punching to the chest, we're going to be banging people in the face. But we've got the bag nice and high up, so it's close on the chest, so we're hitting there, okay? So we'll just look at that, one, two, boom, boom, to start to generate a little bit of power for us. So we're just coming in. Why not move so far? So start banging some of those shots in, okay? Now we'll just have a look at that more outside, how a straight cross we're going to be stood here. So I'm aiming nice and high. Hit it, lean forward and touch on it. Hitting that bag there. I'm stood, relaxed. Hand there, nice cross, nice straight cross. Now we're hitting the bag here, yes. We need to be about seven inches up to actually hit the face. But if you, can, you, you won't get this type of power on a focus mitt, it'll just fly. So start to generate this type of power on a bag, and then when you hit someone, even if you, the speed doesn't knock them out, the force, We'll just send them to the ground. So again, we're there. Hand is here. We're not fighting. It's here, open. I don't want to fight. Straight in. Pip. Relaxed. I don't want to fight. Both hands. You've got to train both sides. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, change it up different places where we're going. Let's say I'm down on the floor. I've been put down. My person's over the top of me. Ah, don't hit me. Ah, bam, come up. So again, this type of training, explode up. I'm using my back muscles. I'm using my knees. I'm lifting, rotating. Boom, coming in. Either catching him in his stomach or preferably bang under his chin. So we try a couple of these. Cover in. Try the other side again. Both sides. You've got to work both sides. I'm coming up. I'm coming up, horse. Okay, so then we change it from our bag. And we get one of our time it. And we start looking at a few different things then. So, all in, so we're going to come in nice close into the camera here. Yeah? So we're in close, we're like this. This is a, a 90 degree kage ski. So normal hook, coming around like that. We're hitting with kage ski, so it's coming like this. Over the top there, and it's in tight. So even if his arm is there protecting himself, put down, if, it, if his arm is there protecting himself, my hook, comes there. 
straight around his arm, bang, and I catch him on the chin, okay? So again, arms up, this one in tight, we don't know what's going on. Other side, both sides. In there again, I'm not doing this. Hop, boom, you haven't got the space, you haven't got the time. It's a short, sharp hook there. Hop. Hop. Now we add on to it. Let's say that hook catches him, doesn't put him out. He's swinging back on his feet a bit. Keep going. <laughs> so we're going to follow through with a tetsui. So we're coming in here. Hop, 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 hop. Coming down. The idea is I've caught him with that shot. Bang. As he's reeling over there, boom, this comes down either into the back of his head, or if he's still looking this way, going, whoa, boom, into the side of the head, okay? So start training as well for following up, because your one shot might not work, so always train for the follow up. If you don't need it, great, but at least it's there. Uh, to the other side, oh. Again, tight, make it realistic. I hate when people do this, we're like, right, make it realistic, guys. Okay, realistic. That's not realistic. Realistic in you, we're tight. I don't know what's going on. Coming in. Coming through, okay? Start changing it up in the dojo. Look at your target, put it in awkward places. Think where am I going to hit it? Let's say what if it's like this and his target is up there, that's his head, I'm down here and say I want to come up and I'm coming up with that elbow underneath the chin, kaboom, kaboom, and then I would follow through with elbow, bang, look at this, look at this, crack, I come in, boom, boom, I'm following through, okay? Do these in the dojos guys, again. Don't forget to subscribe to our Real Talk channel so you catch all the shows. And don't forget to subscribe to our Backstreet Karate YouTube channel. All our training videos are up on there, okay? Stay dangerous.